welcome back to tasty mess day number eight this is like take number 10 guys like take number 10 because my camera don't want to cooperate with me and i just keep saying the wrong stuff but anyways i am so glad that i was proactive and recorded the previous tasty mess videos when i did because i have been just so busy and so swamped this past week like today it's basically when school ends well for a lot of my classes they ended last week i was only down to the last two and i somewhat finished one well really i can finish both today but like i said i've just been swamped i am still not done with orders from black friday and cyber monday which is crazy because this is not normal for me like no matter what is going on i make sure to sh ship my orders out in a timely manner and it's been like a week but i appreciate my customers for understanding for the most part the people that i keep emailing are people that have never shopped with me before asking about an update on their order or being rude about it like small business owners it's not just one person but y'all feel like i'm looking so rough but y'all gonna keep seeing me with this scarf because it's my favorite scarf i have other scarves but i just like this scarf but anyways the previous tasty Men's video was on networking as far as in person this video here is going to be on networking your business via social media now i don't know y'all I've, I've told y'all before i don't know if i'm looking at the camera or not because i'm looking straight ahead but the camera thing is on the left side so i don't know but this video here is on how to network your business via social media and again i just want to say thank you if you've watched all my other videos if this is your first time watching my tasty mess video be sure to check out the other videos be sure to subscribe giveaway coming at 5k and let's get to it so first off me everybody's situation is different as far as networking your business via social media depends on what you sell it like it really depends on what you sell who your target audience is that's really what it all comes down to if your target audience is older people nursing home people whether you sell i guess like you know life alert stuff if you sell and stuff like that social media most likely is not where you can market your business because how many old people do y'all know is on social media like that yes there are older people on social media but I, I work in a hospital first off and in the nursing home area of the hospital don't none of those people go on social media they just watch tv eat and sleep and that's it so if those type of people are your target audience you can't really promote on social media like the face to face would be more how you can network but at the same time you don't know who you can reach because you could be i could be the one seeing your stuff i could be the one seeing your stuff and it might be something that my grandmother could use so it at the same time it matters but it doesn't matter but first off you should have every social media out there if you are a business owner you need to have a facebook business page an instagram business page um obviously you can't really have a snapchat business page but you still want to post your business on there and i'm just going to talk to you guys a little bit about all of them with my experiences first off when i started my business i started my business with my website i was not one of those people you know who started selling on hand first and then transitioned to a website i straight off did not sell anything even if it's on hand until i had my website when i launched my website when i told a few people about it in person i got some sales and stuff like that but instagram has always been the platform that i have promoted my business on i made a business instagram page nobody who knows me in real life of course was following me on there but like one person which was after the fact but instagram really helped me grow my business because like i said instagram was the main the only social media that my business had as far as promoting wise was my business instagram now with facebook i did end up making a business facebook page this year i don't remember when exactly but i did make one that also kind of helps because when you kind of share your business page and stuff like that people like it like right now i believe like six thousand people are liking my business page and i guess if you follow it or like it anytime i post something you get a notification about it i really don't know how it works because there's business pages i'm liking and i don't ever see any notifications or post about the people posting and i know they post because they share it on their personal page i don't know how it works but i love instagram as far as snapchat i didn't get any sales on snapchat i mean i have one or two people that have bought from me via like on through snapchat 
uh, like after the fact that they see me like pumping out these orders but snapchat to me honestly people just click through your stuff that's just how i feel about it but like i said it depends on what you sell if you sell something that it like i said it depends on what you sell like with lashes and stuff yes you can post that but if it's somebody on your snapchat most likely if it's somebody watching your snapchat it's somebody that knows you in person so if that person knows you in person they're not gonna want to order on on your website regardless but then it's still better at the same time because you know when you do on hand sales it's not really taxable it's it's kind of like under the table if that makes sense if you order on my website my website takes a percentage. If you have PayPal, PayPal takes a percentage. But if you just hand me five dollars or ten dollars for some lashes, it's just that's just that. Excuse me. I'm 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 keeping the profit. But my as far as marketing your business on social media, you want to post at least one time a day no matter what platform you choose instagram like i said is the main platform that i have used since before my business launched i started my business instagram probably a couple days a week before my business actually launched was when i made my business instagram and since then that's the main platform i've used even if i don't post on facebook i post on instagram and with instagram you really want to post like three times a day but the most you want to do is at least one time a day at least one time a day and you got to see what you're posting and that's another thing i have videos on this guys you don't want to just post anything as far as 2021 goes because this is something i'm working on myself i want my business page to correlate because right now if you go on my business instagram i tasty everything is not really correlated it's like there are business owners that don't post order pics and I feel like, I don't know, but I like to post my order pics just because that's something I have done since I started my business. Whether I had a few orders, a couple orders to when my business started growing, I've always posted order pictures if you scroll down to the bottom of my Instagram. But I feel like that kind of throws everything off sometimes, which is why some people don't ever post their order pictures. They'll just post it like every once in a while. But eventually, I want my business page to be correlated. And that's something you need your business page to be is too, correlated. You don't want to have just irrelevant stuff on your business page that has nothing to do with your business. Don't post something that has nothing to do with your business on your business. Like, what would be the reason of you posting that? If you sell lashes, if you sell hair, why are you posting and promoting something else that has nothing to do with your business? You want when somebody sees your picture on their timeline, even if they don't see your logo or they don't see something on it, they're going to, you know, say that's I know whose post that is without even having to look at the Instagram ad name. You want them to be like, oh, I know whose pic that is. Oh, I know. Because that's a lot of the time with people whose Instagram pages are coordinated. You can sell, like even if they do quotes, like if you have like a product picture, two quotes on the side, this one girl in particular, anytime she posts something, I know it's her post and I don't even have to see her at name because like I said, I've already, I've already noticed the pattern with how she posts. So I know that's her post. You want your page to be like that. Order pictures is the main thing you can do to network your business because you post an order pictures, it shows that your business is like you're working. It shows that customers can trust you because there could be somebody that's watching your business page. Because on Instagram, you don't know who's watching your business page. You don't know who's watching it. If your page is, is not private, which it should be if it's a business page, anybody could be on there. Anybody could be scrolling down. Anybody can view it. Anybody could view through your pictures. And you don't know who's viewing your stuff. Somebody could have been eyeing your page for a long time. You probably just launched your business. Somebody's eyeing your page like, oh, I like their page. I like their this. I like their that. And then they want to shop with you, but they've never seen you post orders. And I've heard people say this before. They've said, I don't see them posting any order pics. And that's one thing. Even like, yes, just because someone doesn't post order pics doesn't mean they're a scam. But if you are posting order pictures, if you are posting inventory and product pictures, it kind of reassures your followers that, okay, this person here is legit versus somebody who all you see is stock photos, stock photos, stock photos, not a single order, not a single. Now, like I said, there are people that post stock photos and they're not scammers. For my second business, Bundle Mania Beauty, I do use stock photos and the reason why I did that was I was kind of tested out. I was trying to test it out because I realized when you use stock photos, customers 
prefer stock photos depending on what the item is now depending on what it is like for the clothing if when i model in the clothing i don't have a instagram model big boobs big booty i don't have that so when i post a picture in the clothing that i sell it doesn't look the same way it looks like on the stock photo on me but when i post the stock photo and it's ari or jada or whoever else it is people buy it more and that's something i've never been able to understand i guess they think they're gonna look like that person when they try it on i don't know i really don't y'all i don't know but it depends on what the item is but like i said you want to post stuff that will reassure somebody that you are not a scammer order pictures product pictures with your watermark um what else could you post you could post inventory show your organized setup even if it's a little setup i always used to post if you've been following me for that long you know i always used to post my little four drawers with the lashes in there and that's when people are like oh my god cute 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 and you might even end up on one of those business organ organizing pages but excuse me post your your inventory post your drawers even if you post like videos of you sanitizing and how you clean your workspace do a video on package your order with me those are the kind of things you can do to build your business page and market it better another thing to do as far as your instagram page is your bio make sure your bio is something that will make you know your you want your bio your bio is basically a summary of your business and most times your bio is what can make a customer either shop with you <clears throat> or not shop with you like for example there are certain businesses that are business owners and they're like 12 years old or 16 years old and when you go on the bio it says 12 year old entrepreneur 15 year old entrepreneur if you go on somebody's page and you see in their bio they're a 12 year old entrepreneur wouldn't you want to shop with them it's like dang they 12 years old and they out here with their own business i wish i was doing that at 12 years old let me go ahead and shop with them and buy even if it's one item just to support that's kind of how some people think so you want like with me even though but with me y'all people don't be reading my bio it says u.s vendor lashes blah 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 and i'll still have people commenting are you a vendor are you this are you that but if somebody comes on my bio they they'll see okay she's a u.s vendor okay she's based in dallas so she's in the u.s even if i don't do pickups you still know where exactly i'm located i'm not somewhere in china somewhere in japan you know where i'm located like i have stuff on my bio that can kind of summarize my business and that's what you want to do, do too if you sell lashes if you sell lip gloss home of the lip gloss home of the best handmade lip gloss home of the best something 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 the best da 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 da, da the something plug the something this you want something in there even if it's just one line that basically summarizes your business another thing people do is put their flag in their um business bio me personally i don't have my flag on there just because i feel like it throws everything off because my parents are from sierra leone which means i'm from sierra leone but i don't got the sierra leone flag in my business bio but if i did put my sierra leone flag in there if anybody who is from sierra leone or recognizes that flag or even knows it's a flag and they know where that country is most likely they're going to shop because they want to support their people if that makes sense just like if you're from if i go on somebody's page and i've done that before y'all which is why i'm telling y'all this works i've seen a business she sells i don't remember what she sells but she's from sierra leone and she sells something and her bio had sierra leone in it and i was like omg you're from sierra leone my parents are from there i go there all the time da 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 so Putting stuff like that in your bio really makes a difference. But it got to correlate, though. You just, you just can't have something in it that don't correlate. Another way to help you market your Instagram is hashtags. 
Now, y'all, I feel like this video is getting extra long, but I promise y'all everything I'm telling y'all works. <laughs> I wouldn't tell y'all to do something that I have not experienced and I have not used. I would tell y'all if I haven't used it yet. But hashtag is a great way, but I am not going to go into detail as far as hashtags because people have their own beliefs and whole stuff about hashtags. And I don't want to argue with nobody. I'm, I'm just speaking for me. I know hashtags definitely help. I've had several people People tell me they found my business page via hashtag several customers at that not just a regular person I'm talking about actual customers that said I found you through this hashtag or blah 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 so hashtags definitely help so if you have not been using hashtags be sure finding hashtags is hard because just because the hashtag works for me does not mean it's gonna work for you so as far as hashtags go, you just need to sit down and figure out what I think Instagram allows up to 20 hashtags. Just find 20 hashtags or 30, however much is the maximum they allow you to do. Find that work, find some that work for you and save it in your notes and use them over and over and over again. And like I always say, the more times you use that hashtag, the more times your post is going to most likely be seen in that hashtag. If the post, and I said that, th I've said this in my video, it was probably like my fourth YouTube video. You can scroll down and find the video I'm talking about. And I told you guys, say for example, if I'm using the hashtag lash vendor and I have 500 posts on my Instagram page with the hashtag lash vendor. If you click the hashtag lash vendor, even if at this time it has 5,000 posts, you'll at least see my post in there because I have 500 posts out of the 5,000. So hashtags definitely help. You can't just use a hashtag one time. I mean, you can and maybe somebody will see it, but you have to consistently use a hashtag just so you, I feel like the more you use a hashtag, the more likely your post will be found because if somebody clicks the hashtag and they see all these posts and they happen to come across yours and even with that that's why you got to make sure your pictures are appetizing guys and i talked about this in videos before you have to make sure your picture is appetizing you cannot be posting no blurry pictures to where people can't see what the lashes look like they can't see what the purse looks like they can't see what anything looks like if you want your or even if your stuff ends up on the explore page you want it to be something that when somebody clicks on their explore page they click on your photo you know how many times I've clicked on people's pages because of the explore page? Because it just catches your eye. It's like, dang, go on your explore page. Like when you're done watching this video, go on your explore page on Instagram. You're like, if you have a business Instagram, go on the explore page. So most likely it's going to be businesses. If you on your personal page, obviously you're not going to see what I'm talking about. But if you go on your business page and you go on the explore page and you see the type of photos that are on the explore page, that's what your photos need to look like. There's people that sell lip glosses and stuff and their photos be so bomb. So if you sell lip gloss, like, and it's not like you copying people, but you need to kind of be inspired by how other people take their pictures. And it, and a lot of people, they don't even be doing too much. It's not like they're out here buying a whole, having a whole photo shoot session. No, they literally have a photo box or use paper, make a little photo box with paper and take a product picture in there and it looks like they got it done by a professional and it was just done on an iPhone camera. So you got to watch videos and research. I do have a video that I wanted to do for Tastemus as far as product pictures, how to take better pictures, which is something I'm also still working on. But I have changed dramatically from when I first started my business, y'all. Like, and I can, I, I, I have a testimony because it's like when I first started my business, especially with my glitters, when I look at how the pictures used to look and I look at how the pictures ended up looking, the likes even changed dramatically. It was like from bam to bam. Look at the likes on this photo. Look at the views on this photo versus this photo. Like picture quality and how you take your pictures definitely help. As far as Facebook, there are so many ways you can market your business on Facebook. The main thing is biz Facebook groups, but with that, it also is kind of hard, but Facebook groups is a great way to market your business. If you are not in any Facebook groups, you should join some, but th them groups be crazy. <laughs> they be crazy, but Facebook groups is a good way because I'm not going to lie to you guys. When I used to be a hairstylist, 
Facebook groups was how I got all my clientele, literally. If it wasn't somebody I met in Walmart that I just walked up and talked to, I met them on Facebook. I literally met them on a free app and that's how I was getting clients to pay my booth rent. So Facebook groups definitely does help. So I'm not going to say it has never helped me. Even if it hasn't helped me with my business, I know it helped me when I was a hairstylist because like I said, I would post my hair specials on there and boom, I have all these people booking appointments. So Facebook groups definitely does help. You can search a Facebook group that's not even, even if it's a lip gloss group, a hair group, depending on what you sell, there are multiple Facebook groups. There's car Facebook groups, food Facebook groups. There's Facebook groups for everything, for feminine problems, relationship problems. There's Facebook groups for everything, literally. So you just got to find a Facebook group. If you live in New York, Queens, blah, blah, blah. Queens this, Queens hairstylist, Queens makeup artist, da, da, da. Like you can literally search it. Like with Dallas, Dallas, when I was doing hair, I was literally in every Dallas hair and makeup group there is. DFW hair group, DFW makeup, DFW stylist, Dallas stylist, Dallas this. And then a specific city, Fort Worth this, Fort Worth that. You can look it up by specific city and it doesn't matter how small or big the group is because like I said, you don't know who's seeing your stuff. The person seeing your stuff, even if they don't have any use for it, they might know somebody. And that's most times what happens. Somebody might not wear lashes. They might not like lashes, but they might know somebody who wants to start a lash business, who who likes wearing lashes or who, who is interested in something that you're selling. And they can easily forward your information without you even knowing. And you won't know to the person hit you up like, hey, my cousin said she saw you in this group, blah, blah, blah. Even my current realtor, y'all, my current realtor, I met her on a Facebook group. I, it was some kind of Dallas group. And I remember her posting. She basically somebody, she's got somebody, their house, like they, they sold. It was the closing day. And she posted, I'm a realtor. That okay, y'all. So I'm at Dollar Tree. I'm about to 